Cheerio, Pip Pip, and all that sort of rock. Welcome in to Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. We are so glad you are here. My name is Billy Gibbs, and that gentleman right there, the fine gentleman in blue, is Mr. Mike Bravadick. Good morning, Mike. Uh, hi, Bill. <laughs> I didn't practice. I, I just is... remembered as the music was playing, I was supposed to be practicing my accent, and I, I that's the one thing. I knew I was forgetting something this week, and that's what it was. you got to go to Ben Wright. I, I Ball, really four, 13th hole. Dog leg. Oh, it's just shot. <laughs> Brilliant shot, this pirate salts. Oh, he's pulled it. Down the fairway. <laughs> Brilliantly marching. Brilliant. <laughs> hey, welcome Good in, show. everybody. It is our, the British Open, or the Open Week. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about what's going on over at the Royal Birkdale Golf Course and uh, all the excitement that's happening there. Uh, people are on fire today, man. There's some great golf going on. Wow. I actually Not got up at 4 a.m. And it is killing my sleep habits, man. This one getting up at 2. You know, the other night I started at 10.30 and I was up until 4 watching it. You yeah. Know? I, I but, haven't, uh, I, could, I couldn't pull it off. But, I had other things going on. So, But it's been awesome. And uh, so we're going to talk a lot about that. We we have Nikki back in the studio. Hi, Nikki. Welcome there, Miss Nikki. How are hello. you? Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We are going to have PGA professional Bob Kotoski. Uh, he's an amazing man. I've got to get to know him. I've known of him. I've got to get to know him last week. Uh, he's an extraordinary PGA pro, and he's got a fundraiser coming up down at Zaka. He works with the blind and disabled, and he's been in this area and worked at many, many of the great golf courses in the area. So he's going to be calling in. We're going to get to know him, do a little profile on him. I, I hope everybody gets to know him as well as I did. He's one of the finest gentlemen and uh, just a nice guy, and he gets it. So... Looking forward to having Bob in a little bit. We're going to have Dave Shamandel with his English accent. We'll see how he does. I mean, Nikki, what do you got? I mean, you, what you got? I mean, no, you got? No. no, 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 no. Oh, no! Come on, that's not it. <laughs> you got to try <laughs> at least. Give it no, a shot without okay. any kind of practice. No. Oh, you guys. Oh, come on. That's like oh, me, that's like me walking on airplane singing. We got spirit. And that's the rest like you, of you in got, the MRI machine. You know, oh. <laughs> Is, yeah. it, is it the control thing? Because like, if you can't control whether yes. it's good or bad, it's going to be brilliant. Say brilliant. I'm just. A, I'm not. Brilliant. It's not a bad. I'm just. Asking. I don't know. I just, is it the control? Yeah, say, br- thing? say brilliant. It, is yeah, it, brilliant. It, it, I mean, say brilliant. It's, uh, is it the character flaw that you have? Is that what you're talking about? No, causing this? I'm just. <laughs> I can't just believe saying, you're not like, giving a shot. This person is, you'd always go for anything. You're that's going, what I'm getting at. That's yeah. what I mean. Like, just, Brilliant. just throw, a, throw, throw a try out there. Well, what, what could be an easier word to say, I guess? What, is there an easier one? Golf. There. Close. Well, well, you don't have to bark at us. I mean, what was that? <laughs> <Ooh>. uh, golf. <laughs> golf. With well, those golfers. The golf. Going to kill the golfers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, God. anyways, um, what's happening, Mike? How are you? You good? Yeah. Pretty good. We finished out PGA Junior League for the for the year, and um, I'm sad and I'm happy at the same time because it's a lot of fun, but it is a lot of work. And <laughs> and after, you know, when those when the PGA Junior League is going on, that means I got 12 hour days. So that's you know when it's twice a week like that, and then you scrunch all the other stuff, and it's like after I like. I feel so just good, but I'm so exhausted. Adding another you know? hat to yeah. your team. Yeah. But you know what? It's, it's all but about it's the But it's so kids. cool. And it really is cool. I have one more week, um, but we played once a week. You guys are playing twice a week, so that's a busy week. That was a that's lot. That's a lot. That was, you know what? It, I think much. the kids liked it, but it was a lot. It yeah, was a lot, I think, for the parents couldn't. and a lot for me. <laughs> and the parents like, another night? What, what? So, But the thing that's really cool, our kids have... You know, we started out, our team was really, really young. They're still really young. I think the average age three years ago was about eight. The average age on our team now is about 10 because we lost some players, got some players. And we just kind of keep moving up. We were last place. We were middle of the pack last year, so we finished second place this year. Well, congratulations. So it's cool because the kids are the ones that want to do it. It's not like I'm sitting there like, you know, X's and owing everything. And you'll get two or three of your players to be in the All-Stars against uh, the South? Yeah, there's going to be two of them. We'll have three from our team. We came in second as well. Yeah. And uh, although we have one more match, but the math, we can't catch first place. So, but, so we'll have three. Yeah, we could, we're a four-team league. You're a five-team league. So we played the 1985 Bears <laughs> I know. in the Laguna Lake. It's, it was like, oh, my gosh, they're 6-0, and oh, and we go in, and we lost 55-10 yeah. to 10 uh, both times. We I played mean, just uh, U.S. Crazy. kids and uh, junior world junior golf champions. People travel all over the world. We played yeah. top ranked juniors. I, yeah, totally. poor little kids could get the ball in the air. Just you know, but they're high fiving each other, just getting the ball in the air. And the exactly. other team is just, you know making eagles and birdies. But it's it's fun. <laughs> just it's you know the other matches are all very very close except yeah. for that one team and uh, that they just you know so it's gonna be a good all star match against North and South. It should be because Terry has four from her. Do team. we know when that's going to be? Uh, Terry and Terry and the other coach. We should are, do a live remote. 
Terry and the other coach is going to set. Wouldn't the that date. be cool? We could sit there and do a live remote for the PGA Junior Tour. I just, have a few things to say. And well, and our our show could just be like our show could just be like like when the commentators. We just be commentators. We have to say walking down the fairway. Say that walking down the fairway. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know where the Laguna Lake from team Wisconsin? is very strong. <laughs> <laughs> Another brilliant shot from Laguna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Down the fairway. Oh, that's really good. But uh, I had a good week. What'd you do? I got a cat. I got a MRI. Oh, I thought you were going to say you bought a cat. No. <laughs> that would have been a good like, week. That would have been better. That would have been, been a good week. Cat. I would have had no room. I was, the, I was a, a sausage, man. I was, it's a guy says, you're, you're about the maximum size for this machine. I'm like, great. You know? That's so, what they said to oh, you. Yeah. So, uh, but I think it might work. <laughs> Get in there, you smash me in like, like you're pushing up, filling up a hot So when, he, when they laid you on like the table, did he, did he like start spraying you with like some lube? On the side, <laughs> you know, well, so they could. Almost, they, they bound my arms <laughs> like, and my legs, so I was making me squeeze, squeeze me in there, and <laughs> and I could feel myself like it is like pushing sausage into a skin, skin. <laughs> and I got in there, and <laughs> my it nose was literally a half inch from the the top, <laughs> and it's boom, 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 boom. I'm like, okay, uh, that's not bad. You know what it sounds? It sounds like when your washing machine is off center. Oh, that's when it's quiet. Oh, that's when it starts. Yeah, that's when it's quiet. Oh, and I've had plenty. And I had no <laughs> no, head, no headphones, and I had wow. and so and he's like, "You okay?" I'm, oh yeah, great, man. So you only have to stay still for about twenty minutes. <laughs> I can't stay still for thirty seconds, right? So now my brain's thinking, "Gotta stay still, gotta stay still, can't stay still." Trying to move the pinky toe, just so I'm moving something. And then he goes, <laughs> and it's the loudest, <laughs> and it scared, <laughs> scared. I, so I'm jumping. <laughs> Don't jump! I'm like, "What are you kidding? <laughs> you just blew air. I've never heard noise like that in that close." <laughs> So it, it was so why, why, I, I went fishing in my brain. I played a few holes. I did nice. everything. And it's kind of slowed down a little bit. He says, okay, only you know nine more minutes. Oh, nine more minutes. That's like a lifetime. Oh How did, uh, or why, why did you get the MR? I did on my shoulder. Trying or to the MR, yeah. Try to get my shoulder healed. And the yeah. good news is I don't. I got a call two days later um, from my doctor's office, and I do not need major surgery. Yay. Um, which is huge. But yeah. uh, they need to get in and take some, uh, they have to aspirate some stuff and scrape out some scar tissue. And, uh, so is that what's happening? The pain is from the scar tissue that's hitting. Yay! The so they're gonna get that. Well, that's cool. Awesome. And then they that's suck really out cool. this bubble that I have here, yeah. and then give me some shots. It's, they it's, suck it's, it out. It's our, yeah, like a, aspirate was their word. I think that means that's suck a more out. professional like word to, for suck out. I was gonna say or to deflate. <laughs> I you gotta deflate actually, your shoulder. I don't think they pop it. I think they actually suck out whatever the. Yeah, is it like a giant zit? <laughs> Oh, did, you right film, on the, did you film it? Right on the pole. Why don't you film it? Oh. Like when they squeeze it, Nikki will film it. Then, <laughs> God. You know, people do that. I, I, heard, I heard somebody the other day. Uh, actually, it was one of the. Sounds like a Play-Doh machine. One of the older <laughs> sisters of the kids from the PJ Junior League. She has to get four of her wisdom, or all four, her four wisdom teeth taken out. They're impacted. She made the mistake, like what you did, and she went online and she watched the surgery on how they pulled the well, impacted she did wisdom too. teeth out. Yeah, and she's like, Remember, "Why did I do that?" I, and then, I, again, I just overheard this, but I was like, uh, "Oh my gosh!" And yeah, the, the age of technology. That's such a well, bad she says, "We're just going to rip it." And it's like little spider webs going in there, and they scrape it all out. You give me a little detail on oh, the way yeah. up there. Oh. They ask for it. So, <laughs> anyways, it's all good news, and that they're going to give me cortisone or something to help with the pain because, you know, if I can get the pain away, I can still play a little golf. And if they then this bubble stops growing. So it looks like I can get healed. Do what some, causes the bubble? That's say? the stuff building up in there. That's what they will aspirate. She so did this, fluid. Is the I bubble did, scar tissue? I did or not is talk it the to him. Fluids? I talked to She was reading off a paper, yeah. and I'm going to see him on the 18th. Ah. I think he so. gets bigger when there gets fluid when you But she it. said something about aspirate, and she said something about scar tissues and stuff. But, she, but uh, no major surgery, and that's huge. So. That, is, that is awesome. So I think after no, when we get back from November from the network meeting, we all have a little procedure done and start healing. Just when I was about ready to like take over the shuttle for you and come pick you up, you're gonna have Speaking to. Speaking of the yeah. shuttle, I got a rant here. <laughs> <laughs> we started a nice startup business, Mike. I got it. You know, we tried. We did it okay, but we got a franchise out. Uh, you know, as a driver, yes, I'm going nuts, man. There's late pickups, people not showing. You're honking the horn, I'm running late to pick up Nikki. Everybody's looking out the windows. You know. Other shuttle drivers don't wait. You already at got me a anymore. lot of pressure on on radio show morning anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Why do I need to go through this stuff? You know, so, email's not working properly. But we, we are franchising, so it's a great business if everybody's interested. Yeah. I just got paid for it, so. Finally. Well, we'll get Uber. <laughs> exactly. We're more of a booger. You know the shuttle. <laughs> Jugger. <laughs> Jugger. <laughs> but it's you know I'm just not cut Uber. out to be a driver. We could be called Goober. Goober. We're Goober. <laughs> 
That's what we should be. Yeah, we was Goober. You know what we should be doing? It's fair time in like Paso. We should be running the should... Goober. Oh up my at God! The fair. Yes. Calls already. Oh, so yeah. I got tickets. I got free tickets for tonight for the Counting Crows and Matchbox Twenty, and I have to close the shop until eight thirty. Oh. And the show starts at seven thirty. <laughs> I am not driving my car into the fair. Get, get somebody and, cover for and, you, man. That's big. I can't. Get someone to drop you off. Everybody's going to the fair. Joseph it's all. That, it's all. Covered. And then tomorrow night I'm going to Kid Rock, and then Wednesday night I'm going to take Ava to Keith Urban. Got a tough, tough time going on, huh? This yeah. is stay like, away from we Garth Brooks night. Stay no, away. Yeah. Oh, I'm not even. They're going to park in your yard. Can you That's imagine? How busy yeah, they're going to be parking at the golf course. Brutal. They're going to be parking on your golf course. It's going to be brutal. It's going to be insane, especially yeah. the second show because where are people going to park? Nowhere. Yeah. Well, imagine I keep asking people that say I'm going to Garth Brooks. I'm like, which show are you going to? The first. I'm like, you're. It's a good thing you are. Yeah, the second one's. The second one is going to be a, a nightmare. Well, I am going to his third show. And in Vegas, in the Forum in Los Angeles, the next night. Oh, you are. Yeah, from Josie taking her down for her anniversary. See, Josie's so smart. Are you taking the shuttle? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm Goober. A little, I'm a little sore right now are about you the shuttle. It? <laughs> Goober. Uh, we are going to Goober from the hotel to the to the Forum. We're going down the night before, yeah. and we're going to Goober from the hotel to the Forum, so nice. not to worry about driving in and out of place. Nice. But I am going to go see him, and he's playing two shows the night before up here. Going to be all beat up, farmed out. I get him as a leftover. Yeah, but you know what Stuff the good thing Garth. is? The good thing is he's he's playing. I mean, going from Paso to L.A. is nothing. <laughs> he the, hops on a private yeah. jet, and he's down there in 45 minutes. That's true, and he's got, you know, he's got yeah. he's energy. Good. The pa- you know, he makes it so much He money. can fill the form in a heartbeat. How packed is that? Oh, my God, it's going to be crazy at the fair. People even that aren't in are oh, trying yeah, the to two, hear Oh, yeah, the two shows I think will probably bring, I think they can fit 15 and a half, 15 and a half thousand in there. So is that 31,000 people in one night? Oh my and gosh. did you get the GTR yeah. helicopter so you can fly around it and fly? Uh, no, they have a no-fly zone. Oh, wow. You can't you can't get in there. Oh, you're probably, no you're drones, being nothing. Serious. You are I'm being, being serious. serious. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was going to fly my drone. And they, <laughs> you got to get your drone. They're like, we're going to blow it out of the sky. From your living room. Oh, check it out. They're going to blow it out of the sky. Drones are crazy, aren't they? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to tie my MRI to back to golf because that's what we do here. If I could stay that still and over my putts, yeah, I'd be a great putter. Ooh, we got some some we got some tie not, together here, cannot, don't we, Nikki? Yes, we do, Mike. You cannot move in that thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you're not allowed to, but you can. So what you could say <laughs> next time next time that you uh, give a putting lesson, I'm gonna imagine you're gonna mention like imagine you're in an MRI. Except for <laughs> besides that noise, everything's great. <laughs> I mean, it's loud. And at the end, they said, "Oh, well, we could have given you some, you know, sedatives." I'm like, "Now you tell me, thanks." Oh, but think, and, you know, and there's an open it. one in Santa Maria. You could have tried. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for that. But too. you made it. You made it through I without did. having to do any of that garbage. I made man. it through. Don't you feel good about that? At the end, it was probably one of the most most triumphant moments of my life. It was a huge accomplishment. Passed my test. Awesome. Like good for you, man. First day of PGA school, man. But well, we had everything. a Nikki and I had a lesson yesterday, and we uh, we did our usual game. Where we do three putts are minus three points, closest to the hole is one. Two putt did is you worth have to two putt arm is, it? Two putt is worth one. No, she did both. She did both hands. Two hand putting. And yeah, then if you putting. make it, you it's make tripping. it, it's three. So at one point I was up nine to nothing and I ended up losing nineteen to seventeen. Yahoo! Because of a key. <laughs> So you helped. So you because he you helped. Well, it's my job. I couldn't <laughs> Yeah, you can't win. You help her yeah. out as you have to help her out. Wins a lot. Sworn to help yeah. her out. But you, the it thing you mentioned quiet. about the MRI was... She know, was moving? It, it's those long putts, the really long putts. Yeah. It's very hard to... Well, we had a nine-hole one-arm putting match, her and I did. Yeah. We played nine different greens, drove around a cart, nice. dropped the ball. I could drop... She could drop my ball anywhere she wanted, and I dropped hers, but they have to be about the same distance. We played that we played on that. green 18. Really, she showed really it to fun, me. Man. Yeah. I, I taught brutal. that game to Mike. It was cool. Yeah. The only Except problem he is... Was, he was too nice, and he put my ball, and I go, oh... Thank you for that, but here's yours yeah. up the ridge yeah. and over. Oh yeah, she's brutal. Oh, so she looks. Brutal. Like, she walks around the whole hole, gets a little scope thing out. <laughs> hmm, this is the top. If I, That's the competitor. I'm just, I'm just dropping the ball. <laughs> I took her down. I took her by a shot. <laughs> she had a little chunky, little one hand chunk. I did have a chunk. <laughs> probably because that hip was moving. Yeah, probably. Uh, That's probably You've why. Firing the hip. She yeah. likes the, her hips like the fire. It's it's yeah. common because all other swings we do that. Yeah. So it's very common, and you yeah. don't want to. You but once he told me, man, is oh my god. Did, then he was. I in created trouble. a monster. <laughs> he must have made some three putts. She three. had she had you know w- when monster. we're we're playing like if you three putt it's minus three points. Right. She, I'm not kidding. That round when she's down nine zero, I think she made four or five putts from like five to six feet. Wow. That if she missed minus three. But she made them all. She made them all. And I was like, that's when I went, oh, boy. 
Hey, so, okay, we got some. I, I lost. Less than the day, man. Keep your hips still when you putt. Yeah. It's, rotation is the enemy in putting. Yeah. Rotation. Yeah. Anything. Hands, true. shoulders, hips. See, that was such a good way to really learn that too, though. Yeah. I mean. Glad we didn't have any money riding on that. Holy cow. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I got some now. I got paid for shuttle driving. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> Goober. <laughs> for Goober. All right, man. We'll bring us out. We come back yep. in. Let's have some fun. I'm going to. Hey, we, gotta, we have to announce this because I realize this is what happens when I leave the show. I start thinking about what did I, what did I not announce that we were supposed to announce. Uh-oh. And I didn't announce the hanger contest. So we didn't mention them once last show. Uh-oh. And I didn't mention the orange wedge either. It's like our phone numbers. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys go to golftalkradio.com and you'll see the hanger. It's a GIF. You'll see how it's used, the training aid. You'll also see the orange whip wedge. Uh, on August 5th, we'll be drawing the winner for a hanger training aid. All you have to do is go to golftalkradio.com, fill out the trivia form. It's absolutely free, no purchase necessary. Same goes for the orange whip wedge. Visit golftalkradio.com today. You can enter both contests, no purchase necessary, and we'll be drawing the hanger on the 5th of August. And then the orange whip wedge will be drawn near the end of August or the beginning of September. So with that being said, we'll be right back. It's Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy right here on ESPN Radio and the Golf Talk Radio Network.